Violence in the Central African Republic between Christians and Muslims shows little sign of abating. When France deployed troops here less than a year after a mission to Mali, which was broadly deemed a success, it talked of a six-month operation, but has since conceded it will have to extend the mission. And a new report by Amnesty International suggests Paris underestimated just how difficult it would be to restore calm to this crisis-hit country. The situation in the Central African Republic is very desperate. The United Nations has said that the country is de facto being split in two, two factions, one Christian and, and another Muslim. People are fleeing their homes in, in historical amounts and uh, people continue to be killed in, in spite of the presence of foreign uh, soldiers that are trying to, to stop the fighting. What Amnesty International and other uh, humanitarian groups are telling us is that the Christian groups that they have been oppros oppressed for many months, now they have regained the upper hand and they are pursuing Muslim people in the Central African Republic and in many cases they are killing them. Almost one million people, or a quarter of the Central African Republic's population, have been displaced since the fighting broke out, and at least 2,000 people have been killed. 1,600 French troops are already in the country, helping out an African force of 4,500. A further 500 European troops, with more French forces among them, are set to join them. But Ban Ki-moon, UN Secretary-General, has warned the violence in the landlocked former French colony could spiral into genocide and has asked France to consider sending even more troops. It isn't yet clear exactly how many soldiers could be needed or how long the conflict could last. Paris have achieved quite a lot, but in a very limited area of the country. They have, con they have been able to stabilise the situation around Bangui, that is the capital, and probably they have also been able to stabilise the situation from Bangui towards Cameroon. But that's just a fraction of the country, and the rest of the country, particularly towards Chad and towards Sudan, is a completely uh, lawless area where the, the French soldiers have not approached. And we are talking about sending Jews about 2,000 soldiers for uh, the size of it's much bigger than the United Kingdom. Do you see mine trying to police the United Kingdom with only 2,000 people? France was encouraged by the relative success of its intervention in Mali last year, but that mission isn't without its own risks. And the ongoing crisis in the Central African Republic is causing deep concern in Paris. Last year, the French mounted an even bigger operation in Mali uh, to counter what was in effect a threat uh, to overthrow the country by Islamist militants, by jihadist groups. And that was pretty successful. They uh, pretty quickly overcame the, uh, the opposition there uh, and, in, uh, and created the conditions for elections, a new government and even legislative elections have taken place. And so there's a good deal of control over Mali. And that emboldened the French, I think, to feel that they could do something similar, albeit on a smaller scale, in the Central African Republic. But there's no doubt that there's great concern here that this has turned out to be a much tougher uh, assignment than perhaps they had anticipated. James Blitz, a Financial Times leader writer, says France has surprised and impressed military analysts across the world with its willingness to commit troops on the ground. A striking contrast with the United Kingdom's position in the wake of conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan. In the aftermath of the Iraq and Afghanistan conflicts, Britain looks increasingly unwilling to put its people at risk on the ground around the world. You saw a little bit of that in the vote in the House of Commons last August when Britain decided not to back the US on a potential military action over Syria, which France did do. And that's created a sense that while Britain, one of the two big powers, our military powers in Europe, is getting a little bit more sheepish about military engagement. France, is, the other big military power, is remaining pretty robust. I don't get the impression that that's diminishing, and it forms a very strong contrast with what is happening domestically in France. The French economy is under enormous pressure. The Hollande government is really quite weak. And it's quite striking that in contrast to that, they are prepared to show this determination in military affairs. Without the legacy of an Afghanistan or Iraq conflict hanging over it, France has been able and willing to send troops to the Central African Republic and Mali. It may have underestimated the scale of the challenge here in the Central African Republic, but it remains firmly committed to its role as a global security player, despite economic pressures at home. Daniel Garahan, Financial Times.